Hey everyone, it's Bitcoin Brian here with Bitcoin Fam, and today I'm doing a video on Celestia and its token TIA. So if you could hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, like, leave a comment, all of that will really help us out. Thanks. So before I start with today's video, I just have to put out the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. It's just my views and opinions on today's crypto I'm doing is Celestia and TIA. So let's get right into it. I'll go ahead and share my screen. Celestia, the first modular blockchain network. Celestia is a modular data availability network that securely scales with the number of users, making it easy for anyone to launch their own blockchain. So that's pretty cool. Just the technology. They say it's much, much faster, scalable. Uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. I'm sure it's going to be working well. What's a great thing about it is too, anybody can be part, a participant kind of in Celestia's network. If you look here, I could run a node. Anybody could run a node. Directly verify, join the network or integrate the Celestia Light node. That's pretty cool. You can be part of the network, part of its organization. What is a Light node? Light nodes allow anyone to directly verify data availability and interact with Celestia without centralized gateways or RPC providers. Data availability sampling. Enable Celestia to securely increase throughput for rollups as new light nodes join the network over time. Each rollup on Celestia uses a light node to directly publish and retrieve transaction data. So they have different levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. They have light nodes for developers, publish data, retrieve data, manage TIA wallet. So um, if you want, you could subscribe to uh, their newsletter at mail at celestia.com to keep up with what's going on with them, if you like. Um, another thing I like was if you went to their team, meet the team, they list their whole team, you know, what their mission is. We are on a mission to change the way that blockchains and decentralized applications are built, making them more secure, scalable and sovereign. We envision a world where global communi communities have the power to self-organize without being burdened by existing power structures. And you can read about the CEO, CTO, CRO, the COO. Um, they have an extensive background in the space, in technology, in blockchain. Um, you can see the CEO. He's a co-founder of Harmony Blockchain. BS and MS from Stanford, but they don't just list the owners and the key uh, executives. They go through and go ahead and tell you all their software engineers, all the all the key people that make Celestia what it is. They list them all. And they have such a, a vast, large team of well-rounded people. You could go through and read up on any of these people. And then they have advisors as well. You can see um, Cosmos, uh, Ethan Butchman, co-founder of Tendiment and co-founder of Cosmos. He's an advisor. They just, they're all around a rock solid team and company. So I, I like that they, they're not a lot of, you'll see a lot of new cryptos will come out and they're kind of secretive about who the developers are or the CEO or the owners or the creators of the company. And it's like, why are they hiding? Why are they, what are they trying to hide? So that they're, you know, full disclosure, who they are and, you know, what their backgrounds are. So you can see, um, uh, look up a couple price charts for Celestia, where people are projecting where this price is going to go. Um, this is from, I did a couple of them, digital coin. So this is funny. So I first pulled this tab up. Uh, let me refresh the tab. Maybe it was from the time I pulled it up. So now you can see, um, so this is, um, looks like a, a, a coin tracker site. Just found this digital coin price. I'll have to check it out more and see what it's like, but you can see it's price prediction. It's currently at $18 and 81 cents on this website. They see it going up to $48 and 58 cents, 2025. So I think we're going to see 
$50 by the time we have Bitcoin Heaven in April. That's my guess. But they do show it, its growth um, getting up to $366 in 2033. Realistically, I could see us hitting that price during this bull market that we're in now. This The bull run is happening. And I say we still have another you know, year and a half anyway of uh, just uh, continued up momentum in the market. So I could see this going $360 plus or even more. I'll go through some numbers here real quick. Right now, it's ranked number 35 on total market cap. It's in the top 50. So it's $18.42 right now. But you can see it's 24-hour range. It went all the way up to $19.87, which that's an all-time high. That's fantastic. Sunlight just came through the window. Anyway, about time it's been cloudy out here in the Northeast. So... It's all time high is $19.87. So let's go back to what I was saying. So if this was $366 from what I was saw before for like projected all time high in 2033, which I think it could happen in this bull market in the next year and a half. So it was $366 and we'll divide that by its current price of $18.42. And here we have, so that would be almost a 20X. So we'll just call that a 20X. So if this 20X, so we'll we'll multiply that number, just be exact then, by its current price of 2 billion current market cap, 2 billion, 897 million, 143,383. So that would put it, if it hits that $366 mark, which is roughly a 20X, it would put it at $57 billion market cap. Is that possible? Well, if we look at the total market market right now, we're at, let's see, so 57 billion. Let's see, would that be possible? It'd be a 20X. If it was a 40X, 4,000%, 4, that would be 114 billion, but 57 billion, that would put it like number four. So, but now they're saying Bitcoin itself could be multi-trillion dollar market cap. It could be three, four trillion dollars. Who knows? So if that's the case, say that, and we have a total market cap of over 10 trillion. Could I see this being, excuse me, 57 billion? Definitely. I think if we're at a $10 trillion market cap, the top 100 or at least the top 50 coins will be a hundred billion dollar market cap or higher. Probably you can see right now, uh, top 13 coins are 10 billion or more. So I, I definitely think that this could be 57 billion. I think it could be even more. I think this could be in the top 10. And I think the top 10 cryptocurrencies at the peak of this bull market will have a hundred billion dollar market cap or more. So that would be if it's 114 billion, which would be a 40x or 4,000 percent gain, it would be in the top one, top 10. I think that's very possible with Celestia and the TIA token. So we'll go back to uh, a little math. So if it was 4,000 percent, so we'll go back to the TIA info, which is 114 billion, but. That, that to me is just, uh, it scares me thinking about that, talking numbers like this. But we can see this has happened multiple times over and over with multiple cryptos throughout, you know, the 2017 bull market, the 2021 bull market. And now here we are getting primed for the 2025 peak of the bull market. We're just starting 2024. So things are just starting to pick up. So here we go. So if it did 40x excuse me that would be eighteen dollars and 35 cents multiply that by 40x which is four thousand percent gain it's crazy talking like this but it happens all the time that would put celestia the tia token at 734 dollars Wow, that blows my mind to think about that. But I guess, I mean, it is possible, depending. I mean, they're talking that this mark, 
this bull market, we could have over a ten trillion dollar market cap. So, if that's the case, I think this would be a hundred billion dollar market cap coin. So, very possible. And you can see one thing I found out too was Celestia. They offered staking with the TIA token uh, with the Kepler wallet. So the Kepler wallet extension, which I have. So I ended up actually, I just found this this morning. You can stake TIA on the Kepler wallet and you get in there. It's over 15% return staking right now, which is crazy. That's a crazy amount, 15%. So I'm, I'm taking advantage of it. So, um, I had never used my Kepler wallet before, but I, I did create it a while back. So this is what I did. I went to Coinbase where I have my TIA and I sent only four TIA at first to my Kepler wallet. I wanted to make sure that it went through smoothly and, it, and transferring it from Coinbase to my Kepler wallet was seconds. It was so fast and boom, it was there in my Kepler wallet and they have a, a, a feature on the Kepler wallet where you can go to the dashboard, you go to the dashboard and that's where you can stake it. And it was very easy process. So I went ahead, you select your validator and uh, the percentage or how much you want to stake with that validator. So I did the four just to test the process and it was staking. So then I, I moved a lot of my holdings of TIA um, onto my Kepler wallet and now I'm staking it because of the 15 plus percent return. And I don't plan for me personally of selling any of my TIA until we're well into the 2025 year. So, but we'll see, but I did keep some off. So it's available to me because once you do stake your TIA, if you want to unstake it, it takes 21 days and it tells you on, on there when you're, when you're staking it. So that means if you want to try to sell it, you'd have to unstake it first and you still have to wait the 21 days. So just keep that in your back of your mind when you are staking it, you know, make sure your plan is just long-term holding and you're not trying to trade it because you won't be able to get it in and out quickly. It takes 21 day period. So as you can see right here, it tells you important note, unstaking TIA involves 21 day period. So, but I did that. I'm super excited because now I'm getting free TIA. It's great for just staking it. So I selected like four different validators to select. So it just kind of breaks it up. Um, so that's what I did. But here we are. We're looking at the TIA chart from its inception to where we're at now. And we, we've we had a little correction. Like I said, it peaked almost at $20 already. <laughs> but we're back down to like $18.45, somewhere in there, $18.50. So... Um, who knows it could go back down another dollar i think it could go back down to like 17 dollars and 50 cents somewhere in there maybe um just you know regain some strength to do a little more consolidation before it continues on its way up but yeah we are definitely in price discovery with tia super super excited about this coin um it's definitely one of my top three favorite coins constantly keeping an eye on this one and if this thing does dip down below seventeen dollars, I'll look at the total trend and everything of the market. But I'd probably be buying some more, um, especially if this thing's going to go into uh, triple digits with the price. It could be several hundred dollars from the numbers we did. I think it's very possible, but I definitely think this is going to at least ten x before the peak of the next bull market, which would put it, you know, one hundred and seventy dollars. So if I'm buying it at $17.50 or $18 and it hits $170, that $1 is not going to make a big difference. But again, I practice right now not buying coins when they're in the green, wait until they're in the red, you know, which is a little downturn. That'll be a buying opportunity before it goes heads and rebounds off some support and going back to a new all-time high. So anyway, that's my take on Celestia and TIA token today. Hope you, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, the bell notification, subscribe, leave a comment. All of that will definitely help us out. Hope everybody has a great day. I'll talk to you soon.